Welcome to our video of how to upload digital roadbooks to your rally tab. In this video we're going to go through using Pist Rally Roadbook as well as the Rally Navigator's Rally Roadbook Reader. It's two different apps. We're going to go through two things. We're going to go through uploading the file to your tablet. There's three ways of doing that. You can use internet or Wi-Fi. You can email it to yourself or if you want to, you can send it via direct transfer with a USB sticky. Uh, with the Rally tab, you will get a USB um, connector. The connector looks like this and it simply goes into the charging port of your tablet and then the USB sticky goes into the back there. So you get this with your Rally tab. Um, so you're either going to do one of those three and then once you have the actual file on your tablet then you can load it onto the reader. It is important to note that it needs to be in a PDF format and preferably an A5 roll and if you want preferably colored. So this video is quickly going to look into how to do those things, upload your roadbooks and then also how to access it on your tablet and then from there you can rock and roll. We'll be doing more how to videos for the rally tab as time goes on but this uh, will definitely help you access your stuff quicker. It's important to note that if you're going to be in a place where you don't have internet make sure that you preload the roadbooks that you are going to be using. Great. And let's dive in. Now, if we look at the internet or Wi-Fi, you can clearly see on my screen that I'm connected to Wi-Fi. So the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to create a Google Drive. So once you've created a Google Drive, you will create different folders. I would recommend you create a folder for roadbooks. You can just save the files normally, but I like having a roadbooks folder. Then I know all my roadbooks are there together. So then you're either going to open the folder or select the file. In my case, I'm going to open the folder. I'm going to select, then you select the file. And then once the file opens, you're going to download it to your device. So you're going to click on the top right and you're going to say download. And then you'll see at the bottom it gives you a notification that it has downloaded. And if you swipe down, you can check that it has downloaded. So that is how you then download a file from your Google Drive. So Google Drive saved either in a file format in a folder or in a file format in the main view. Choose the one you want to download. Click on the top and say download. Um, on, your, on your device you can go to files and you can go to downloads and they will all be there. The second way is to email it to yourself in which way you are going to go to your Gmail account you are going to compose an email to yourself or to whoever and you're going to attach the file that you want uh, the roadbook file for yourself you'll attach that and then you'll send it to yourself. Once you've sent it to yourself, you will receive an email with attachment. You'll open the email 
and you will simply download the attachment. Right, so now the attachment has downloaded. You can see it's downloaded to your tablet. That's the second way. The third way is using a USB stick. This way is best for when you don't have internet and you have put the file onto the USB stick already, you would have gotten a little attachment with your rally tab and you will take the USB stick and you will push it into the attachment and then you will attach the attachment to the USB uh, C input, the charging port of the tablet. Okay. Once that is done, you will go to your settings. You will go to storage. And then you will click on the file. In this case, it's USB drive SanDisk. And there is the roadbooks that's on this. So I click on the roadbook. It populates. I click in the top right corner of there. You say download. Download Chrono Stage. Now that is downloaded from the USB. So now we have downloaded the uh, roadbooks three ways via internet, with the Google Drive, via Gmail, and also via a USB stick. So once that is done, you need to load the roadbook. In this case, we are going to use or show you Pist, and we are going to show you Rally Navigator. Both of these are PDF reader roadbooks. So if we start with Pist, this is the screen you will be met with on Pist. You click in the bottom left corner on the file, and then you're going to depending on what screen you see, you're going to tap on the top left. So the top left, and it'll give you options. It'll give you your drive options, as you can see, or your downloads. So you click on your downloads, and then you choose the roadbook that you want to load. And as simple as that, there it's loaded. So on Pist, we do File, Top Left, to choose either Downloads or your Google Drive, and you choose the roadbook you want. On Rally Na Roadbook Reader from Rally Navigator, a very similar scenario. Uh, it's worth to note that this app, uh, Rally Roadbook Reader, only works in portrait and not in landscape. If you put it in landscape, this is what happens. So now, in order to load a roadbook in Rally Roadbook Reader, we go import roadbook, same story, top left, I choose either my downloads or one of my drives, if I have saved it on my drive and I have internet. In this case, I will do downloads, I will choose the relevant roadbook, import it, there it is in the top of the file list, I click on it, and it should populate. There you go. So that is how you load a roadbook on a rally tab. Great. Well, thank you for watching this tutorial, this how-to. We really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, uh, please let us know. If you like the content, please make sure to like and subscribe. We will be posting lots more videos of the rally tab and all our new developments. We have a lot of new stuff coming up. Thanks for watching.